compact SUV has become the weapon of choice for mums on the school run, and so maybe the new Subaru XV is a natural choice. However, there's one thing the missus may have overlooked, and that's the fact that it's got a Subaru badge on its nose. And that means that the kids aren't going to have very many snow days, because it's going to get you there rain or shine. The XV employs the familiar Subaru tactics of permanent symmetric all-wheel drive and a boxer engine under the bonnet. This particular one is a two-litre diesel engine mated to this six-speed manual transmission. That means it's good for 145 brake horsepower and 350 newton metres of torque. Before we get onto the rough and tumble of things, let's talk practicality, because this is a family car after all. Inside you'll find a rather durable cabin, nothing feels like it's going to fall apart, it's well screwed together, relatively ergonomic design. The sensor console is donned with this nice, bright, vivid touchscreen display. There's some good materials up here, but slightly below the knee you're going to find some scratchier plastics. But that said, it, it does feel like it could take a beating from a couple of toddlers. We all know how trying children can be on interiors. Now in the back you'll find plenty of head and leg room, although the middle passenger does suffer from that transmission hump in the middle of the floor. Visibility is really good all around, which is a rarity for modern cars these days. Heading further rearward you'll find a good 380 litre boot with a nice wide opening, but fold those rear seats flat and that extends to 1,270 litres. Visually the XV sports a really rugged look with its compact proportions, short overhangs and sort of slightly angry dimensions. The car looks excellent in this hyper blue. Uh, I'm surprised Subaru don't offer this colour in more cars because I think this tone of blue is really popular at the moment um, and it sets this car off really nicely with its 17 inch alloy wheels and if you get the diesel you get those roof rails as standard. On the move the smoothness of that four cylinder boxer engine is immediately noticeable. There's not very much vibration or harshness coming back into the cabin like you do get with a lot of other diesel rivals. It's not necessarily the quietest engine, it certainly grumbles a little bit under load um, and the ride is firmer than competitors but then the trade-off is that you actually get some rather tidy handling. Obviously the all-wheel drive provides that reassurance and grip that you require um, to apply the 145 brake horsepower that you have. Again, linking back to that boxer engine, another reason Subaru like to use it is that it keeps the centre of gravity really low. So the XV is really resistant to body roll, even when you are chucking it about. The low down torque of this engine comes in very handy, especially when you want to make a bit of a charging, overtaking manoeuvre. Feels like a good, strong engine. But just because this is a crossover doesn't mean that it will go all posh spice whenever it comes across a puddle. Now, this Subaru likes to play a bit dirty. Subaru claimed that the new XV will do 52 mpg and emit just 141 grams per kilometre of CO2. Starting at £21,995, there is some strong competition in this market, but I don't believe that there's anything quite as capable or quite as reassuring to drive as the XV in this segment. Also, it comes with the reassurance of a five year manufacturer backed warranty. Thanks very much for watching and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for all of the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For breaking news and written reviews visit www.insidelane.co.uk